regarding the issue of wrapping this pattern panel around the cylindrical shape. Um, I don't think there's an easy situation. Um, the, it's possible, but it's not a one command solution. Um, just to quickly show you what I found. Um, there is a command in AutoCAD that's called uh, The surface command and it's called projection, uh, project geometry, but it's not really, it's just a projection, but I can show you how it works. So I made the, out of that 3D panel here, I exploded it twice and I joined it together, so I end up with polylines here. So we can project these polylines onto the surface here with that command. So we start the point of direction. So uh, there's one on the end point. That's the next point. That's the point on the surface here. Then you have to select the polylines. Then you select the target. So it has it has projected it onto the onto the surface of this uh, cylindrical shape, but as you can see, it's distorted on the side here. So it's not ideal. It's probably good for slight curves. It'd probably be close enough, and also it's only a projection of lines. So uh, I found a better solution, but it's a bit more work. So. Uh, what you basically, what you have to do is segment this panel up and wrap it around uh, the uh, the curved line there. It's not 100% accurate, but it's close enough for a pattern like that. So uh, what I would do is breaking up this panel in in easy ways, so it can be it can be uh, wrapped around. So I think there's a couple of uh, vertical lines here. So if we go to the center of them and we make our breakup points there, uh, that should be easy to, to wrap it around with not too much distortion. So this one is the center line here. We can mark that with a, with a small line here, a vertical line. Then we would do another breakup between those two lines. We can quickly draw a line there and then run the center line down to the, the baseline. We might want to do another break up probably here. Then the last one possibly here. Just delete those lines here. So what I normally do is I draw a couple of circles here so it's easy to see and also easy to click at. I draw them onto the baseline, so this is our start line here. Now we want to see what sort of distances they are apart. Go into plan view. And we can quickly run a couple of lines here, a couple of measurements. But 
put this in another layer. Now we've got the distances between the segments, so we can quickly transfer that onto our curve. So I would draw a, another arc here in a different layer, so it's a bit easier to see, and we can use it as a reference. Now let's start from the middle. We just want to uh, draw the points on a curve that uh, represent the segment width. So we can use circles there with the radius. Start in the middle here. The radius is 57.6. Then the next circle starts here and will be 84.9. So on 54.6 and 96.9. Now we just quickly want to draw our little reference circles again. Next one is here. And the other one is here. One here, and the last one there. Okay, now we can get rid of the circles, they're just confusing us. So the next thing we want to do is uh, project the first one, the first pattern with extrusions onto our surface and then make a 3D subtraction. So we want to do everything that's within this part within this segment here, we want to extrude them at the time. So we select our polylines here. This one is slightly overlapping, but we still take it. This on that one, and we'll do the same thing on that side. First, first one is an easy one, we don't need to rotate that. So we extrude that about 60 millimeters. Now since it's curved, and uh, we want to place the curve within the, the, the depth of this, uh, these extrusions. So we quickly move the extrusions a little bit back. We don't really need this anymore, we can turn off those dimension lines. So what we want to do is we want to move this a bit back to about the center here. So we go 30 millimeter back. So now what we want to do, we want to copy it onto the surface here. You want to select the starting point here. Our end point is here. So now we have this right within there. So what we can do now is a 3D subtraction. We select our cylindrical shape and all the it's probably easier to probably easier to go into plan view so we can select them a bit easier so, so 
select the cylindrical shape, enter, and then we select our select the line here. And now this should have extracted or sub subtracted the shape here. Now this was the easy one. The next one we have to slightly rotate around and project in between these two points. Get rid of this. No need that anymore. Now let's do everything within here. Extrude it first. Sixty mil again. Plan view. Thirty millimeter back. Now let's copy them onto the surface of the cylinder again. Just copy command. Actually, in this case, we copy our reference points as well. Makes it a little bit easier. Now, base point. And we use this one as our base point here. Now we just need to do a 2D rotation. Best is to go into plan view. Got our reference point here. Select that as the base point for the rotation. Now basically we just need to select this one. Now it's wrapped around. And since it's a symmetrical shape, I probably would do a, a, a quick mirror. We select all the shapes. We mirror it through the center line. If you have polar tracking enabled, it's quite easy. You just follow that line. So we got it there as well. Now we do our subtraction again. So we select, subtract, we select our cylindrical base shape. Enter, now we're sub subtracting surfaces. Now our pattern is subtracted. We can do that on the other side. There we go. Now we repeat this for the other two segments. Do our extraction. Can tra extract them all, and we can be selective. 
when we copy them over to the, the surface. Move it back to by thirty mil. Okay, we just select that middle column now. Move it to the base point here. This is going to be our point. Go to plan view again. We do our 2D rotation. Quickly check if that's correct, yeah, that looks correct. We we'll quickly mirror it to the other side. Use the center line for this. And I will check if we got all of them here. Let's see what we got here, yeah. That looks okay. We delete those. Now, just the last one. Just to go into plan view. Easier to select objects to copy. Then we select the base point here. So we got the last bit done here. Let's do a quick mirror command. Just to make sure we got everything. See if we picked all the the items here. That's it. Let's do our subtraction. That's it. Yeah. 
Here is our curve panel.